Good evening, everybody. We're doing this in the rich, supple, spooky month of 2022. Understanding that we already did a completely fine enough look at, but I decided that for spooky month, what could be scarier than having to socialize with friends? Socializing with friends in an 8-bit vacuum. An 8-bit an eight vacuum of both volition and vigor leading to virulent chaos and vibrant... Welcome to VVVV, everybody. <laughs> I was I was close. I think or I as it's I known in certain or as it's known in certain regions. And as far as if you're looking it up online, it's just it, the 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 URL is literally spelled out the letter V six times. <laughs> so I'm going to assume that's how the de that, that, that's how its developer intended to be pronounced. I'm going to do a full playthrough of this sucker, and I'm going to go for every single trinket just because I can. We're going to see what happens and how long it takes me to tap out. I mean, this game's short enough where it's possible, but, uh, yeah, like, I definitely remember playing this game a long, long time ago, back when it was, uh, put on the 3DS of all things, and I definitely mm -hmm. remember having my fun with it, even if it was fairly short-lived. Um, I want to say I actually didn't have the patience to beat the game, though, until its eventual Switch port. Right, I know, I know this thing's been ported to probably a lot of, con almost every console since, it, since its, uh, inception. Yeah, um, and I and yep. for those that do want to give it a shot nowadays, I would probably suggest Yar Haring it instead, considering that the the publishers that of this game can go suck a quack. Yeah, and that's sad. So sorry about that. Uh, I'm playing this on the PC version because I still had that, and because it adds a couple you know, little tweaks and things I want to make, take advantage of. So let's just hop into the story. Yes, I don't care if it deletes my current save. I'm gonna make a better. Uh, that's okay. I got a bigger crown. It's gonna <laughs> get going. It. So it all stars a whole bunch of intrepid space explorers. Oh no. Uh -oh. Everything okay? Well, we hear some kind of interference. <gasps> We're gonna ram it! We're gonna go it. Oh no! The but then the teleporter malfunctions and. Oh. Ah, that was a close one. At least we all escaped, right? 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 <laughs> Okay. Oh, I'm sad now. Unfortunately, and you must thus, make this first trek alone, with your one and, and only ability being to flip gravity at your will. Only whenever you are touching the ground, though. You cannot flip in midair. It's not like Gravity Rush or whatever that other game was. Uh, gravity Runner or something like that. But, I uh, think it's Gravity so, Rush. Yeah. So for those who... Um, so for whoever has never seen uh, our look at of VVVVV, uh, it is a... Uh, yep. I guess we gotta find where everyone else is. Checkpoints will help you in case you ever die. <laughs> and, uh, yep. This basically was a platformer. I guess you could call it like a rage platformer in the same sense that a Super Meat Boy was. Ah. Just showing off how that works. And also, we gotta do ourselves a little hunting here. A little hunting here. <laughs> Got it. There you go. You found a shiny. Too bad you Unfortunately, can't do it stays between deaths, so back I go. That's relief. Aww. One down, 19 to go. I was going to say, like, oh, uh, these, terminals can oh. these terminals can provide you with some extra lore, but I'm not going to make it too much of a priority. I'm kind of going more casually here. Just know that there's some weird, like, some weird vacuous element in the in space that our intrepid heroes have managed to get themselves teleported into. It's a it's a nasty place. Help! Can Ooh. anyone hear, hear this? Violet! Captain, you're okay! Something's gone horribly wrong with the ship's teleporter. No dur. I think everyone has been teleported away randomly. They could be anywhere. Oh no. I'm on the ship, but it's it's damaged badly. It's still intact though. Okay. Where are you, Captain? I couldn't care less. <laughs> some sort of space tip seems very modern, actually. There seems to be some sort of interference in this dimension. Oh, okay. Well, that's handily uh, contrived enough. Hello, uh, we're free. I'm broadcasting the coordinates of the ship to you right now. Okay, Papa Pale B pa Biff Clem. It you? was uh, it was a uh, Clem. I Clem. can't teleport you back, but uh, if you can find a teleporter anywhere nearby, <laughs> okay, you should be able to teleport back to me. Mm hmm. Cool. All right, duly noted. We'll go. We'll get back to you on that one, Chief. I'll try to find one and get back to him. Good luck. Yeah. Oh, that's good you. luck. I'll keep trying to find the rest of the crew. Okay, thank you, Bob. Uh, 
So that so you I mean, men okay. can indeed be violent. I'm okay with that. So yeah, as far as like <laughs> remember, yes. say yes. To what? Yes, men will tell you what to do. Stop and reflect, because this is showing you that you can actually go in different directions. Remember, you can't jump. You can only flip. But, huh. hey, look, it's another one of those trinkets. Uh, I probably don't need it, but I'm going to get it anyway. It's all about the principle. Ow, ow. Ow. I, I don't think that's a platform. Technically it is. Uh, oh, okay. The red sharp <laughs> things are definitely not. But, uh, yeah, you found your second shiny trinket. Shortcut! <laughs> will they count it? But yeah, oh yeah, it does. So basically, if I went back there, it, yeah, it, uh, at, at any point, if you collect at any point upon death, uh, it's okay. That's all I needed. Okay, cool. I'm not gonna worry about the map or quick saving just yet. Oh, oh. you almost got b b b busted. You almost got bonsai build. Bonsai build. All right, here we go. Oh. oh. It doesn't look like there was anything down there anyway. No, but we have to do this because I cannot jump over these spikes. So. Uh, this is going to be the first of many little uh, curveballs this game throws at you, understanding your uh, understanding the limited moveset of the captain. Yeah, sometimes you must commit. Also, apparently that guy used to be a part of a mad crew. Oh, the Tomb of the Mech... Oh, now I see... I, I, used to be, I used to pronounce that as like Carol, like Carol. Oh, right? Carol, okay. No, but, but I mean, I, I could see that being the crew. <laughs> it's just, yeah, no, so, uh, some of the stuff is very freaking weird. There, finally a teleporter. Let's just get out of here and find freaking Violet. <gasps> and just like that, chapter one's already done. Captain! Level complete! <laughs> that was it's... all just one level. Yep, we had to find the other four people, so we're only about a fifth or so of the you way there. You rescued a crew member. Bet you rescued yourself. That is true. So, Doctor, you need to do cause the crash. Oh, that's right. I'm a doctor. Uh, there's some sort of bizarre signal here that's interfering with our equipment. It's mm. caused the ship to lose its quantum position, collapsing us into this dimension. Oh. I know the feeling, Captain, but I think we should be able to fix the ship and get us out of here. Okay. As long as we can find the rest of the crew. I don't know about Vermillion. I, I think we can leave him. <laughs> yeah, he's kind of a dick. There but we really right don't now. know anything about this place. There's Vermillion. There's... Our friends Damn. could be anywhere. They could be lost or in danger. They're all around this this random world. Can I jump right back here, I say? Sorry. Yeah, not unless they find a way to communicate with us first. Okay, well, we gotta... We can't pick up their signal, and they can't teleport here unless they know where the ship is. Oh, that is a problem, then. So what do we do? We need to find them. Head out into the dimension and look for anywhere they might have ended up. Come quick. Pretty much. Yeah, this is pretty much the main goal of the game is to find all your missing crewmates and then get the fuck out while you're late while you still have your your yeah, legs between legs below your hips. I mean, and I mean, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm gonna skip the the dial. The, there is there is lore to be found about what's going on out here, but just all you gotta know is like the general plot. Oh my gosh, all this lore. Oh, oh, pressure cook potential for anything. Predestined fate. Oh, this is a scientist. Oh, oh, I see it's. Oh, oh, that's what it was. My bad. Let's, just... well, let's get out of here before this starts to warp my mind. I like this music better. Anywho. Welcome to the overworld map. And where we're going to be spending the next... The next better half of our entire journey here on this on this desolate dimension. I mean, yeah, this I'm is pretty be... much the world... This is the, like the whole world as we know it. Yep, it's actually... It's, yeah, they, they actually based this game kind of like a Metroidvania, only... Only there aren't any, uh, only there aren't any unlockables. There's just an overall map, and you can, at any point in time, uh, you can at any point in time teleport to other, uh, T's and stuff on the map once you reach other teleporter gates. But, uh, I believe later we'll get the, we'll get the option to teleport just right away. So as I enter the first of the, uh, you know, as we discussed, first of the four main, like, dungeons, quote-unquote, to explore... Uh, hi. How have you been lately? I noticed that there was a couple of projects that you've been working on. Um, a handful of things. Um, I mean, chief among them is obviously a Tales of Anualia that uh, me and Jordan have been working hard up. And don't worry, I'm not going to do the same mistake I did with uh, Mario 64, assuming this comes out after that. I'll be fine. Anyway, um, aside from that, I've been helping out a little bit more with um, Adrenaline Dubs, which is a group that I'm a part of that does a lot of Sonic dubs. They mostly do a lot of the uh, dubs for the IDW comics, and they're really good stuff, honestly. Like, they're so big, it's gotten to a point where that 
you know, obviously they can't, like, fully talk about it because of, like, legalese, but I think some of the IDW staff are actually aware of their dubs. Really? Mm-hmm. Well, darn, that does make me a little bit like, man, I wish I could be a part of that, but I know that that's... Well, like technically you are. Very hard. Oh, that's right, because the villain's a thing. And don't worry, that one I am not worried that's... about spoiling, because we showed a preview of that in a stream not long ago. And I'm looking forward to that. That's going to be really... I am not... Okay. I was doing... I was, like, cruising with, like, one hand on the steering wheel earlier, and now I'm just... <sighs> So on the, on the on uh, the uh, from the from from one to ten on the bounce scale, how would you rate this, Tigger? I think that's you. Oh boy! <laughs> that was Tigger. Well, for one thing, he touched the ground. Tigger would take much longer than that to touch the ground. That is true. Sorry, oh, I, I, I would have been forgot. I would have been more prepared, but it feels like whenever you guys want a Tigger impression, it's when I'm least prepared for it. <laughs> you gotta be. What have we told you, Hype? You gotta always be ready for a Tigger, for a Tigger impression that the left when it gets. You can't, you can't rush can't. a Tigger when he's working on his art. Being a Tigger <laughs> could save your life one day. You're like, oh, you trying to bug me? <laughs> I would. I, I don't. I'll admit, I, I'm not. I, I am not at all. Dang it! I am not at all endorsing a life of crime. But if I were to try <laughs> and mug somebody and they suddenly pulled out, whipped out a Tigger laugh at a moment's notice, I wouldn't know how to react to that. Being a Tigger is full of uh, heavy responsibilities. Oh. Um, you know what they say: with great power comes great positivity. Exactly. Yeah, that, that does sound like something Jim would say. Okay, this is a kind of a oh. tedious little uh, shiny thing. It's not even that bad. It's just. All this, all this challenge is compared to everything else is just finding, you know, which areas you can actually walk through. I guess this is another game we played once upon a time that had similar puzzles like this involving gra gravity switching, but I can't think of them oh, off the top of my head. Well, I know Crash Four it, technically has a bit of that in some levels. Oh, definitely, but I, I agree. I, I, I definitely know that there was. <laughs> I, I definitely know there was a. I definitely know that there was a uh, another like indie platform or something that I had like shown off that had something to this extent. I definitely feel like it might have been an indie related thing. Well, that was easy. Yeah. Yep. Now make the way back. Oh, oh, so close. Never mind. Again, not easy. these the, again, the, most of these I'm not actually all that bothered by. There are in particular two. There in particular there are two shiny trinkets that oh. I am. I was about to say, it's a good thing you've got one of them. Didn't even need the other. But yeah, it's there's definitely two uh there's definitely two shiny things that I am not looking forward to, to uh, getting. Is is one of them relatively close by? Uh one of them is close by, but it's not the one I'm actually worried about. Oh. Basically what you have to do is you have to do a little bit of a tricky thing here. Uh Ow. not that. Stay Or that stay tuned. <gasps> I don't know what always gets me about every time you, uh, you you know, die in this game. It's not even just anything, you know, super flashy. It's just your character makes a sad face and then disappears. I know, it's like... like oh, okay, I'm all better now. So here we got... Here's what we gotta do. Oh, uh, we gotta... We gotta squeeze the oh, gap. Oh, boy. Yep, yeah, we gotta escape and get out of bounds. Quote, unquote, <laughs> out of bounds. Come on. Oh, okay. <laughs> get you <to> <laughs> That's okay, got oh, it. Nice. Thank goodness. That's never gonna get old. Uh, we'll be exploring all that stuff later. Just yeah, never mind. Oh. Have a sneak preview. Oh, oh. Oh. Okay, at least they they were they were generous there. Now, wow, we're already six out of twenty done. Mm -hmm. Yep. Again, they are gonna get trickier. Then again, there's there's two of them in particular I'm not looking forward to. One of which is, well, I mean that's fine. I have to check one here only. One of which is straight up just one of the hardest challenges that this game has to offer. Okay. You got it. Got it. Okay. You don't. Oh. <laughs> That's eh. exactly the wrong way to, to go through that. One, two, three, four. Ah. Oh, okay. Diode. For a brief moment, this game changed its name from VVV to VV to Ah, 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 ah. Oh, no, uh, just for a second. Are you stuck here, too? It's okay, man. You can, you can, you can spit out that rat. Let me explain everything. What? I didn't understand any of that. Well, it's okay. No one has to care about oh, it. Oh, okay. okay <laughs> Basically, well, that was essentially easy. just saying, hey, essentially just saying, hey, just come with us. Teleporter away! Level complete. Well, well, why is See? that a Philadelphia experiment? 
I think it's a reference to, like, uh, I think there was, a, at some point, a Philadelphia experiment about teleportation, or at least it's a famous thing in sci-fi, and, uh, here we go. We made back to the ship safe and sound. So, what was Violet's role in the whole, or not, no, I'm Violet, I'm Violet, uh, what's this guy's role? Uh, this seems to be, like, a good place to store those shiny things. Uh, I wanna say... Yeah, okay, so all, all that, um, freaking what's-his-face, um... Victoria. Victoria, yeah. Oh, no, Victoria's someone else. Jeez, I can't... Get all tongue tied here. What was his name? Um, freaking um, Blue Boy. Yeah, Blue Boy. I guess it is Victoria. In any case, uh, yeah, okay, it is Victoria. Uh, this room here is gonna be where we store all of the shiny trinkets we find, and eventually we will have to actually uh, use Victoria's help to find a couple of the other ones. So, as as is true to form with a uh, Metrovania, there are actually ways that you can uh, start finding uh, more of the trinkets about the place I'll make it this way. And the more you find, the more you unlock different like maps to be like, oh, this is where you missed a couple of things, Captain. Where is this taking me? All the way downtown. Okay, okay, okay. Where? Oh, we're just, okay, okay. We just fell through the map and now we're in the other half of the overworld. The overworld's actually a little bit bigger than you'd think, uh, but it does store every single one of our levels that we're looking for somewhere in this void oh, it's vast it's also a little empty yeah, yeah honestly, empty. Not what I think about it. i think part of the reason why they make it so big is that not for nothing you can travel through these screens really fast oh for sure because you know you have the power of gravity on both of your on like, like, both not even, of your sides not even just the power of gravity like your guy can cover your guy can cover ground really quickly oh yeah like look that's already how much on the left side we've covered so now if i go this way and we're only, and we're not and we're just barely under twenty minutes in. Yep. Oh, there's another shiny trinket. Oh, nice. That's seven then. Ah. Heck. Oh dang it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Sorry, buddy. You're stuck here. There's a reason. There is a reason I believe that the first time I ever heard about Captain Viridian and his uh, and, and his colorful gang of uh, miscreants and uh, you know wacky do people which you know explains why which probably explains the game the game's title because they all their names all start with the letter V hey but yeah the first time I ever learned about uh, their team it was because of um, it was mainly because of uh, I, I learned about them through Super Meat Boy mm. oh yeah I think one of the character was it a uh, was it our character here that was um, a yep. playable character in that, or at least a cameo? Oh yeah, no, 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 no that, that, yeah, no, that was him. Uh, he was he had a cameo, and uh, he could be played. And uh, I keep think I keep I get, okay. I think I know what it wants me. To, I think I now know what it wants from me. I have to go to the right. I I was about to say that he was involved in. Um, I was about to say that he was probably in uh, Bitship Runner, but I don't think that was him. I think that was another character. It's me. That was uh, um. Uh, no, oh. you know, it was it was Meat Boy who was right there with Commander Video in the intro. Right. Also, what's oh, oh what's, the, what's this? Teleporter maze. Oh. Not too long. We just gotta go this away and find around. I'm just again, uh, bear in mind if anyone's watching this, I, I'm gonna be very loose about this. As a, I'm someone who's played this before, and B, again, the plot you don't have to worry about too much. This is mainly us doing this as, as a rainy day thing because all of our main story centric ones are uh, all those people have uh, have other lives. things that, that they're taking care of and lives. Either they have lives or their brains are literally drip dripping ooze right now and need a good old R and R. Yeah, hey, wants to sound really funny. What's what's up? okay? What's up? Oh, that actually wasn't as cool as oh, I Man, on. you got me hyped up for nothing. Here we go. Oh. Oh. We actually fell down through all this. Sheesh. They all that that's the joke is they all these rooms are just identical. <laughs> wow. So now we gotta try and find a shiny thing amongst all this, which I think is in the upper left corner. Okay. Shame that's, that's not the case where like, you know, they would probably like, they so usually they don't title the levels unless you're going through like these like the dungeon section centric areas. Right. Oh, that's Otherwise it's just another part of the world. Maybe this way. And then I go over here. Here we go. Found okay, found ourselves our next area. Awesome. Welcome to <laughs> This is how it is on this bitch of an earth. <laughs> Just every time, Mario. This is, this is the place we're gonna be uh, introduced to uh levels that wrap around Pac-Man style. Oh nice. So basically, uh it's a it's a maze. These exits on these rooms only have one way that happens to be an exit. Everywhere else will lead to uh, uh -huh. uh the, the level wrapping around itself. I assume we can even 
Oh, jeez. Stump mid. Which means I can do this, and then... Excuse me. Go. Yeah, I think I see. I think I see where the puzzle lies. It's primarily the exit that doesn't connect to anywhere else. Yep. And so now we can go through this maze this way. Um, while I'm doing this, um, let's see. So I know James, you've been playing a lot of the uh, Rabid Sparks of Hope. E. Uh, what would you actually? actually uh, what would you say you think how it's Obey been going? Obey me, so V. Destroy the other alphabets. And, uh, but no, no. Oh, uh, what have you been thinking of uh, Sparks of Hope so far? Been enjoying my time with it. I can definitely say it, uh, in many respects, is a better game than Kingdom Battle. Um, there are a few like minor inconvenient, like minor annoyances with that I have with that game, but like, like I said, they're minor. And I okay. do think its soundtrack. I mean, let's let's remember here. This is a game that not only stars Mario but the Rabbits. It has easily the best, easily one of if not the best soundtrack in a Mario RPG yet. I mean, it, it does help that they brought back, like, the mother of really solid, uh, oh, I was close to that. They brought back the mother of, like, solid, uh, RPG soundtracks from the freaking Alpha Dream RPGs, technically. Yep, Mario and Luigi, the Mario and Luigi series, uh, Super Mario RPG, she was also involved in Kingdom Hearts, Street Fighter 2, Live, Live Alive, and so much more. It's just really, it's, yeah, no, b between all of them, as much as I do enjoy Grant Kirkhope's uh, as much as I do enjoy Grant Kirkhope's music, it has been really cool to see this uh, compo this, 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 the, the collaborative effort with them. Okay. Not only that, them. but also not only with Yoko, but also with uh, with uh, what's his face, uh, Garrett Coker. Yeah, the guy that did the soundtrack for Ori. And, is it just Ori in the Blind Forest, or do they also work on Will of the Wisps? I think he also did Will of the Wisps. Yeah, both of them. They do. He does incredible. Uh... Ah, that's, okay. This one's a little bit tricky, but I can. I know I can get this one. But yeah, no, he, uh, he, they both did incredible, comp uh, both very good orchestration composition works. Oh, dears. I'm sorry, I just had a dumb, a dumb thought in my head. Uh, you know mm -hmm. about Catherine, right, Logan? Uh, um, yes. The, the game block puzzle game? Like, By Atlas. It, not notice the, the name of this level is called Edge Games. And I'm just suddenly edge. thinking, picturing my, exactly. Like, all these edge. little Pac-Man are literally just repeating ad nauseum. Edge, 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 edge. Oh, jeez, that would get, that would get, that would get That would be my personal hell. Real fast. To the bat cave. Hello. It's certainly a lot brighter than I remember it. Must Go. be the must be the Schumacher bat cave. Yep. And hope. I wouldn't I wouldn't put it doubt it. Twisty little passages. Yeah, really start thinking. Uh, hey, I don't. That means I want to go. Oh. There. Oh. Oh no! Yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm made dumb. It's just right. I see. I I'm thinking way too far ahead. Just jump up here and then jump down and then jump up. Woo! I love you. I love you. Yeah, remember, just going back love, to what I was... Remember, like, love, love hurts. Understood. Don't it ever. But yeah, just going back to like the, the Schumacher joke, Um, did we ever talk about if we wanted to do like... <laughs> That's why I have to kill oh, boy. <laughs> I don't want to be killed. I forgot about that. But, um, I mean, I know we were planning on doing the Burton... Like, watching the Burton Mills films at some point. And I think, by proxy, it would make sense to also include the uh, two Schumacher films as well. Yeah. I'm, a, I'm not against him in... Help me! I hate you. Cap, oh. I'm so worried. Chief Verdigris. Verdigris. I've been trying to get out, but I keep going around in circles. And I was I'm giving the Kermit it. voice to fucking Violet. <laughs> I'm just sorry. I mean, especially given the title of the thing. I'm, gonna tell you, I'm teleporting you back. She's fine. She's back in the ship. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Yay! So now we have a new little mechanic that's going to be explored more later by Verdigris. No, yeah, he's coming with me. Uh, is we're going to start experiencing, though, that our mission is not going to be as simple as we thought it would be. Because, no. sure, we may have teleported uh, our chief Verdigris from this hellhole. Sometimes we gotta be an escort to make sure they make it back safe, too. Yep. Like uh, so. This isn't the ship. What's going on? I, I don't know. I don't know. Uh -oh. I, I don't know. Okay, it's okay. We don't need panic. We're just gonna find another teleporter. And thus... Whenever you're standing on the floor, the, the, whoever, basically, there, there is, I want to say, two escort missions in this game where this way this works is they will never follow you whenever you're on the ceiling, but they will follow you once you touch down on the ground horizontally until they reach the exit of the level. And now you have to worry about the fact that, uh, A, you cannot proceed forward until, you know, both of you are at the exit, and 
You gotta make sure that Greeny gets there oh. without dying. Otherwise, you're, otherwise, no matter what, you're sent back to the last checkpoint that either of you touched. I'm kind of surprised so, he didn't teleport with you. So that means we just need to... Oh, we just need to plan out how we use our run. There you go. You know, we were talking about how good um, Sparks of Hope's soundtrack a little while back. I mean, going back to this game, I forgot how good this game's soundtrack is as well. Oh, hell yeah. Oh my gosh. The, 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 I forgot her name, but the, the composer of this... Uh, we have. I love how even you get silly. Oh, uh, I want to say the. Uh, compo oh. I want to say the composer. Maybe she went in the middle this. instead. Yeah, I'm gonna try that. So stop. Oh. And... Nope. Don't you dare. Oh no, you don't. But must I do everything for you? Yeah, there. He actually said checkpoint. Hey again. Hey, are you doing okay? Uh, we gotta find my back ship. Yeah, he has a crush on the pink one. We don't talk about it. Anyway, don't follow too close now. Oh. Oh. oh, ain't he a doll? And green light. <laughs> green light. Red light. Green light. <laughs> Alright, but now we gotta make sure we get enough speed that there is something like, hey, don't go too fast because his speed will uh, relate to how far away a distance you are away from him. Yeah, uh, We're still trying to talk to him about how he can get a crush on Violet. Mm. Just be yourself, dude. Oh. Oh. That'll never work. Thank you. Oh, <laughs> well, it's. Hey, at least he got the picture. Okay, this one I'm not. A oh, oh, that's right. I gotta be, I gotta be fast with this one. But essentially, what I need to do is. Where'd you go, Captain? He got sandwiched. Here we go. And go. One, two, two three, and a four. four. But now I gotta get there safely. Right. And if I die, it's right back to the beginning. Of yeah. This, of this section. Even Verda, yeah. what's his face? Will uh, will backtrack too. I know, that is unfortunate. You're able to fix the ship. Uh, he's the, oh yeah, I see. He's our chief mechanic. But yeah, if we can get him back, he's not going to have any trouble repairing the ship. Uh, but you know, in terms of this person's, in terms of this poor person's music, I want to say we first started. Oh, really? I want to say we first. Uh, I, I think on the channel, if not this look at, I think another way we heard her music. Oh, another way we heard her music was in Dicey Dungeons, and uh, oh, oh it's I believe I, I believe they're also the Ooh. composer of Super Hexagon. Uh oh oh back come on oh my gosh i gotta do this uh, so he moves far enough to the left and then go all the way back the pathway is not that not that unclear dipshit just move your legs oh my gosh we finally had teleported <laughs> let's head back to the ship now we oh. can actually fin complete this chapter man so, wouldn't um, it have sucked it was just an endless loop i would not have liked that but okay we made back to the ship all right as rain on uh, back on to our adventure we go but yeah no uh, the, they're they're a special brand of like chip tuny music i really do enjoy i enjoy chip tune music i don't care if it makes me sound like a hipster i think it's a cool sound no one's gonna guy. judge you i mean hey it, it, it can be done effectively and if they do judge you then they can go suck on lemons I don't want to have it. I would not want to risk i want they can suck, suck on the lemons, lemons that i'm just gonna about, about to shoot from my cannon I don't want... Oh my god, I forgot the freaking lemon candy. Which, um... Yeah, no, uh, the fact that... Uh, the fact that uh, freaking J. Jonah Jameson came back for that portal thing. That's something that we're gonna have to see if we can either get Mech on board with, or I can even figure out how to record that for the channel. But I but I, I remember that another thing we wanted to do is we wanted to at least try and cover uh, Portal 2. I think we did Portal 1, didn't we? Yeah, we did we Portal did 1. A long time I think ago. you were the one that led it, weren't you? I think so, that's right. And then Portal 2, was it was the thing where, like, I think... We either wanted to be there. I know Gui at one point expressed interest in wanting to do, do the, the co op thing with James. Right. Also, I must say, I'm so sorry for up ahead. The designers of this game wanted to be all radical with this whole, you know, LED, you know, 8 bit thing with the colors. Uh, I'm a, I must apologize that we're about to see something that may be a little bit seizure inducing, so please be cautious. Oh, lovely. Keep your eyes far away oh, from yeah, the that's uh, an elephant. Uh, Oh, jeez, the elephant of your dreams. The great Why an elephant? elephant. So, I don't know. I really don't know. But it—he was the guardian of this trinket. So I—I I didn't pay, pay too much attention. How many trinkets does that make now? Ten. Oh, we're already halfway done. Mm -hmm. Yep. But yeah, whoever designed <laughs> that, please. The elephant uh, is sad. You took even, his he is, he's, even he knows. I know what I'm in for. <laughs> okay. Anyways, so, and um, I'm yeah, just going make back the to soccer moms mad. Oh, yeah, no. just going back to the portal, yeah. I know we have to do two eventually, and honestly, because I bought the uh, Switch collection, if Allie doesn't have any interest in, like, playing it, uh, I wouldn't mind helping out with the co-op on that. Oh! I don't see I mean, any problem with that. 
well, between either of you guys, I'm up, I'm up for seeing whatever you guys do. Uh, with that said, I'm going to do a quick BRB to put something in the oven, but it should not take long. I'll be right back. <laughs> and this is the point yeah. where our captain thinks to himself, did I forget to turn on the oven? And time. There you go. Nice. back. All right, let's get right back into it. And thus our captain for remembered to turn on the oven. I knew I was forgetting something, said the cat. Said the captain. <laughs> I'm trying to remember. It's it. his name, our captain's name is uh, Viridian, right? Yep. Oh! Okay, I can't go that way. Hold on, then. Wait a minute. Can I somehow get... Oh, yeah, I see how. Oh, yeah. I see fun. how, and it's not going to be fun, but I got to do it. Is that the other uh, one you were not looking forward to? No, actually, but you know what? I see the problem. Wait. Go, 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 go. Uh oh Oh, yeah, no, you're supposed to do it from the other way around. Oh, uh, hang on. Okay, can I teleport? I don't think I can teleport yet. Really? I may have to. I may have to come back for this one. Fuck. Oh, uh, maybe. Okay, let me give one more solid effort to try and get over there. Three, two, one. Why, John? Okay. Right oh, here. wait, 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 wait. My my shoelaces are untied. Right here. Okay. Oh, oh I would have survived. You you would have got it. You would have okay. got it. But I got this now. Now I now I understand the way. Uh, I don't know if I had already. Oh, <laughs> I don't know if I had already discussed this with you, hype. Uh, are you a fan of any of these kind of like uh, "quote unquote" rage platformers? Um, considering that I'm not the biggest fan of ragey, and the guys can attest that I become a very unlikable person when I rage, I'm gonna have to say no. Okay, that's fair. Okay. And... Oh. <laughs> I mean, we had to swear an oath that we'd stop. We would stop. That he would stop playing Mario Party with us. I don't think it. I'll. I, I really. It's like I understand that you get upset. But I feel like. I mean, I, yes, I. I, like... I know. We gotta. We oh. have to. We have to bear with the truth. Oh boy. But I feel like there is an element of it that, like, it, it almost like, like I'm not upset. I'm not upset if you are. A, oh wow. Oh, oh, I'm not upset if you uh, if you get upset because it's like I almost feel like that's part of the fun is 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 the rage that can happen. But no one else even but, thought it was fun. But like I don't. But like I don't see it as like. <sighs> like I don't see it as like I don't see it as like you're actually like upset with us. You're just frustrated with the circumstances that have happened. There you go. Well, I mean, there's also that, and plus, honestly, just in general, like, that, I mentioned it during the Mario Party sessions, like, there is something about Mario Party that I actually do genuinely think, excuse me, do genuinely think it's just more fun to watch than play, you know, as evidenced by how much I really enjoy whenever the Runaway guys play for the channel. And hopefully when we do it, whoops. I mean, it's also just one of those cases where sometimes it's better to play with, to watch other people who aren't as, uh, aren't as, uh, liable to lose their shit. <laughs> well, play yeah. the game. Well, I mean, in the case of, like, Runaway Guys, there's definitely, there's definitely fits, but for some reason, the fits that they have are funny. Which is understandable. Okay. Now, before we go back, we gotta now deal with these guys. The Dan Backsliders. Mm. Cut! Uh. Found them! <laughs> okay. <laughs> Working against <laughs> these conveyor belts, which, yes, is this whole level's main gimmick for right now, is a little bit frustrating but i will come out victorious besides we're not even at the hardest one yet okay oh jeez okay and right. just don't spike ourselves although, and one although i do want to wind oh boy you uh, did not survive the gordian knot yeah i do want to wind a little bit on what you were talking about when it comes <laughs> to like rage stuff it's really yes. funny because, like, a Monica, the uh, aka Nintendo, for people that need to know, ever since she started hanging out with us more and, like, calls and whatnot, like, she heard, like, because I usually try my best not to let that ragey side of me around other people. It just goes to show how close you guys are to me. But when mm -hmm. Monica heard about me, about how ragey I get with certain games, she's actually made it a dedicated mission to see me in this rage mode because apparently <laughs> she thinks I'm a really chill person. Well, it's her like she just, she just enjoys seeing that different side of you. Well, I, I think it's more so a matter of like she's deathly curious because again, as far as she's concerned, she can't really imagine me being, you know, that angry. Oh, uh, I mean, I, don't, I, I see where that comes from. Uh, the cuckoo, the cuckoo, a lies and slander, all of it. The clarion call, charlatans. Yeah, I... 
The lock of you! I already see where the next shiny thing is. Let's just get that over with. Although I'm already not looking oh boy. forward to it because uh, this is, I believe, the area that's going to have one of my least favorite... Uh, this is where one of the two most difficult uh, oh. specials in the entire game are. It's the yes, if, if 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 you know it, you know it. It's 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 definitely one of the like think of it like the Crash Bandicoot like challenge run level, which at least oh. most needs to have. Toxic but we're not tunnels. there yet. First, we're gonna go down here. Doom swoop, manic go mind. This way. Go. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> My toe. My toes, my toes. Okay, got it. <laughs> Ow! We out. <laughs> Worth it! <laughs> Sucker, you can't catch me now! Oh, that was a close one, actually. Let's see. <laughs> that was a close one. So I guess as far as, like, other conversational pieces go, um, mm. I don't know if, I don't know if the show will be out by the time this goes public, but, uh, now that we've been getting some more info on it, what, what have you guys been, what have your guys' thoughts been on what we've seen of Sonic Prime so far? Uh, the the voice cast looks promising. The, uh, the the character designs. I'm curious to see what uh, what we're gonna get from that. Mm -hmm. Oh boy. But um, as far as what the plot is gonna be, I still don't know. And I still don't know if we're gonna get a full show or if they're gonna piecemeal like they've been doing with the Cuphead show and a couple others. Whoops. I feel like maybe I'm just being too optimistic. I feel like they're going to be a little bit more generous with Sonic than they were with Cuphead. Eh, maybe. We'll see what happens. I don't know, because, like, the budget of the... An I can say right now, the budget of the animation the Cuphead show definitely looks a little bit more refined than what I was seeing from the uh, couple of preview clips of Sonic Prime. Well, I'll also say this. Like, Sonic, in general, is a more, like, mainstream and po profitable franchise than Cuphead, so I feel like Netflix will try to give it at least a little bit more, you know, dignity. Oh my gosh, why do I keep missing that jump? That's fair. Um, what are your guys' thoughts on between Prime and... Uh, dang it. Between Prime and uh, Frontiers, the ever-increasing uh, exposure of one Big the Cat? I think it's fun. <laughs> I mean, whatever whatever sort of lo-fi tunes he's jamming to, I'd like it, some of that in my ear. I, I mean, generally Here speaking, I think it's really <laughs> funny thing. just how much Big has been, like, resurging as of late. Like, it, it's honestly got to a point oh, where... Oh, boy. Oh, I remember this. I welcome remember this. To the, welcome to the shiny thing that I was most dreading, because there it is. By a single block, I can't get to it. I Dang, gotta, I knew I should have taken parkour lessons. You know, I gotta go around the long way, so I may be a little quiet while you two continue to talk, but about, like, your prospects on Frontiers on any preview clips, go. Okay, um, so I guess as far as Frontiers is concerned, I mean, it's one of those things where my, what used to be, like, pure cautious optimism has definitely leaned a lot more into the uh, optimism side of things, because uh, it definitely shows that, well... Save for a few snags here and there, at least they're actually making the effort to make this the best Sonic game in years. Ugh, yeah, it definitely feels much more ambitious than anything we've gotten yet. They've definitely been giving it all of the, uh... They've definitely been putting in a lot of the budget and the uh, development time into it, which... Hopefully this becomes a lesson for them, and... But here's the thing, I'm still not... Like, I'll admit, I still have not pre-ordered it, I'm still not wanting to jump in without like you know i mean that's fair seeing that yet oh okay that was close i'm actually getting i'm actually getting a lot closer than i thought it would uh also really quick note on the soundtrack this here is probably one of my favorite uh songs in the uh game just that when that when that key change hits it's either i believe the song is played here and in the last level so they know how much of a jam it is but um yep but you're, i mean for better or worse you're gonna remember it by the time you're done man yeah, i can I, just imagine I mean, like, imagine if the gravity flipping was handled in the same way as Iki Ika from uh, Crash 4, and it, this whole entire room would just be a complete non-issue, because all you have to do is just flip it once, then flip it again the second you're about to leave the room, and it's just, okay. Oh yeah, no kidding. Oh, screw that nonsense, you don't even need the fl gravity flipping if you're Crash, you can just jump over the damn block. Do give myself I the old I, I just slide like hopper -rooski. Well, I just meant, like, it, it, if you still had nothing but the gravity change, but the gravity change was more lenient like it is in Crash 4. I mean, yeah, if that Got were the case, it. then definitely. And there you go! Oh my gosh, actually, it was not as bad as I thought it would. Thank Whew. goodness. Now then, up we go to Whee! say goodbye to Vinny Vinny Vici or whatever. Whee! 
Okay. Sweet bitter, sweet yet bitter tears. Uh -huh. Oh no! Ah. The brass set us. Uh, the brass set us under the top. <laughs> They're onto us. Anyway, um, but yeah, just going back to frontiers. I'm still looking forward, to, uh, casually looking forward to it. I'm probably not gonna like buy it right away like the guys are. I'm gonna wait until. Excuse me. I'm gonna wait until I hear you know more word about whether or not it's good. But it's definitely mm -hmm. leaving a stronger first impression than I was, like, expecting it to. And a handful of things I've seen in it I'm actually surprised Ooh. with. Like, I'm kind of... Oh, boy. Like, I'm genuinely surprised with how they're doing, like, the voice direction for Roger and, like, some of the bits of cutscene that we've seen. Like, I, I love the interaction that he had with oh, Big. Boy. Just the whole, like, what are you doing here? What even is here? <laughs> well, that's gonna be great. Oh, okay. I don't know. So, is back it? to back, this is the other one I was not looking forward to. <laughs> they're all located in this very same dump. So here's how this works. See this checkpoint here? Yes. Over the next couple rooms, every checkpoint is going to be a trap. I cannot uh -oh. touch a single checkpoint until I get back to this room from the top. Uh, how are they traps, per se? Because whenever... because So the, the idea works that whenever you leave a screen, uh, the screen updates itself and mm -hmm. stuff like that. So w the way this works is in order to get that shiny trinket, you see the two... Uh, the two, you know, solid colored platforms up there. Uh -huh. yeah. I need to, I need to walk over the one on the right, which will fade away and cause that moving platform, you know, to start going back and forth, so I can use it as, you know, an elevation, as something to hop on. Excuse me, as something to hop onto, with my gravity jumping. But if I leave this room and come back, this entire thing will have reset. That platform will be oh. back locked into place. So the only way that this can work is, is I need to go all the way around to this room, th unlock that platform then die, so I respawn on this side of the room, and then I can use the elevator. So here we go. Have fun. Yep, it's gonna be our cannonball run, but, uh, uh how about this? Uh, Hype, have you given a look-see at the, um, have you given a look-see at the uh, prequel comic yet? Oh yeah, I read it. In fact, funnily enough, like, that did give a slight bit of, like, you know, real-life context. Uh -oh. um, the guys did have to wait on me for a bit before we started this. Oh, hey! The reason I've been... Damn, nice. But yeah, I was just about to say. Oh boy! But I was about to say, like, the reason they had to wait on me is because I was recording uh, lines for a friend of mine that was gonna dub it. Technically, I'm gonna. Technically, two friends of mine are gonna be dubbing it, so I'm basically gonna be doing the same character, but in both dubs, I'm doing a different voice for each one. Huh. Interesting. Okay. So, so is that like, is that going off of the direction of it, or more that you're well, um, uh, more in along that? the lines of like. So one of them, uh, my friend Elaine, um, I'm ju just going to use my regular Eggman for that, whereas the one that I'm doing for Adrenaline Dubs, they usually have their own Eggman actor, but he got too busy, so I was asked to fill in. <gasps> so I just hey. decided to... Oh. Iridium! I forgot his name, but he's the professor, the scientist. My advice is working on but he use your help. So after I explain the whole situation... Back ah, of course! Ah, oh, I've figured it out. You've been telling me about different locations. That sounds about right. Let's go back to the ship then. After you. After you, Captain! <laughs> Yeah, continue. Sorry for that. All I was just gonna say is that, like, uh, for for their take, I'm. It's just gonna be me trying my best to emulate uh, the actor that they had previously. Oh, okay. All right. So we All have right. one more, uh, one more patron oh, no. left to find, and a couple. Oh, Man. we're lost in this freaking teleporter space again. Vitellery, where are you? Oh God boy! God dang! Oh jeez, I'll save your butt. Where's down, Where's down the shaft? The shaft? <laughs> I gotta go take a whiz. Wee sports. You go anywhere. Yeah, no, like it's not really obvious. They get pretty crafty with some of their. Uh oh, oh, survivors. it's the Gravitron. Oh, oh you have to survive. Now, don't worry. You don't actually have to survive. For, at, at, at every interval of five seconds, it saves a checkpoint. But let's see how far I can get without dying. All right. Oh. Uh, yeah, oh, that's yeah, why I remember yeah, Pac-Man yeah, syndrome. Yeah. I think that still applies here. I think so. I'm gonna see what I can. Well, do. let's not test that out, because this looks a little hairpin. Oh, sad. Sad's happening. So I'm now back at 45 seconds. So we're, we're fine. Yeah. At least they're that I generous. Make, I just need to make sure I survive for longer than five seconds at a time, and I'll always be making progress. See? Anyway, but um, but otherwise, uh, now it does make me curious though how. So, I'm trying to remember what I what I remember these the actors from Prime from before Prime. I mean, I well, know like Brian Drummond kind of goes without saying. Brian Drummond goes without saying. Go ahead. Yeah, Brian Drummond because he was also Knuckles in Underground. Uh, the actresses for Tails and Amy are actually My Little Pony alumni, which obviously right. the internet's going crazy about. Right, Rainbow Dash and Applejack, and yes, I knew it because I looked it up. It's been a while, but yes, Ashley, Ashley Ball's there. 
Um, yeah, Ashley Ball is going to be Tails, and uh, the other one's going to be Amy. Oh, wait, who's Amy? Who's Amy? I need to look at That's the one that you said was Rainbow. Actually, no, wait. Rainbow Dash no, was Tails. No, Ashley Ball was both of them, yeah. Okay, I, I'm trying was to remember. It, was, it for, was, was, it, was it Pinkie Pie and Fluttershy's actress? Uh, I don't know. Actually, she has, a, thought, she has a high enough register. Back. Alrighty. I don't know. I mean, I'm looking forward to it. I know that uh, we have new Cuphead episodes to look forward to. I am not doing well. This okay. Come on. Breathe. Focus. <laughs> Breathe, darn you. <laughs> okay. Oh, dang it. I was like, almost right there. <laughs> Anyways, I, we apologize if this if this commentary comes across a little bit loose. It was kind of a spur of moment thing because I just I I finished playing the game. I wanted to like just get out there and show that I could do this game as like a small little project because because it's been something we've been exploring recently of taking some of our old look at and making them into fully fledged commentaries since this new live format allows us to do things with a little bit less like say for instance it was a game that honestly its gameplay could be a little bit slower monotonous to commentate or, or i should not monotonous i should say if it got too samey to actually go through and divide up into yeah. parts sometimes doing things live can add that little bit of like you know energy that you felt was missing from a normal post -com thing. The only, you know, drawback is now if it's a hard game like this, you gotta take the good with the bad soldier and get ready to, like, edit out any mishaps, but so far... I mean, how do you think how do you think I felt when I was doing the Ghosts and Goblins games for you guys? I... Uh, you, you are more courageous than I, even though I'm gonna be doing Maximo, but I would argue... Oh, there we go. Oh, hey, we're done. Ah, oh, that was interesting, wasn't it? Well, that was... That was <laughs> yeah. But, um... Well, let's go! Alright, that's enough of that. Oh, come on. There we go. Um, what was it? Uh, I mean, I know I'm doing Maximo, although I will agree that I think Maximo is not as difficult as, uh, Ghosts and Goblins. I think they give you a lot more uh, leniency in uh, how to deal with things and that. Not to mention, like, how many, like, continues you can earn, and, oh, uh... I, I, for, I th for some reason, I thought they were always stingy about them, but holy crap, they gave me no, a like, lot No, like, you collect 50 of those... You collect 50 of those things, you get one extra coin. So now, if we talk to Victoria... Go ahead, look at what I've been working on. That was in that lab. Really? Another trinket. Oh, hey, nice. So she, I want to say it's like after you collect 10 or 12. After you collect a certain number, more than half, that's when you can talk to Victoria and she'll like give you the uh, another missing one. And also, uh, she can analyze the energy reading they give off and bam. Now, anywhere that there's an S, that's where we now know we can find another one of those uh, secrets. Awesome. Yay. It looks like there's only three of them left. Oh, that's, you know, yeah, because I'm, I'm going to spoil something right now. Uh, the last one we're looking for is all the way... The, the last one cannot be found until you are actually at the end of the base story. Okay, mm. so it's the super secret special one. Yep, I'm going to travel it this way. Because I did see an S in this area here. Anyway, welcome back, Hype. Yeah, sorry about that. I had to clean up the dog's room. Nah, you're fine. Oh. We were just discussing about... um. Did Vincent leave a mess? We were just discussing Vince. about uh, how we've been doing these live games. So, sorry, could, can you answer that answer that question? I'm actually very curious now. Oh, uh, wait, what question? We were uh, never mind. I try for actually. Forgot myself. <laughs> I was show. I, I, I was playing along with the theme here. Every character's name starts with a V, and I figured they may have it. Might have a dog named Vincent. I could see that, or Victor, or Vroom. Victor, or Vroom Vroom. Vroom Vroom. Yeah, I mean that's the last thing they ever heard before. Oh, Devil oh, damn. God. I'm in a really weird mood today. I, I'm, in, I'm in like a slappy mood right now. I'm just, I'm throwing punches left and right. That has the same fucking happening. tone to it as like that one Tom and Jerry short where Tom goes to heaven. And it, they play it off so cute and innocently, oh, but one man. of the patrons that actually go into heaven are literally three happy little kittens coming out of a wet bag. Yeah? yeah I remember that in like it's the, so the adorable, cat the... yet you'd realize the context is so messed up. And, yes, and it like is. even even the cat at the gate, it's like, you know, what some people wouldn't do. Yeah, no, like it's actually messed up. Anyway. Okay, so this seems a bit off, isn't it? Well that's because welcome everybody to the b -b -b bonus round. Bonus oh. round! Jeez, it's going up! The longest auto scroller in the game, at least until the final level. The tower. And I, and I assume up top is like anything up top is essentially a uh, spike a trap. Yeah, basically you need to stay in this screen at all times. If you try and go too fast in, a, in either direction, you're gonna meet a spiky end. Like so. <laughs> They'll just kind of sneak out. But yeah, this is the final. Uh, if you can believe, it, we're already at the final like 
thing that is required in order to... Oh, hang on, I need to get that shot. Oh, so this is, the last, this is the last place where we can uh, save... The last place we save the, uh, one of our um, teammates? Yes. I don't think I've got it, actually. Oh, how that's going to be we... tricky. Oh, you know what? I see how to do this. So we got to go... Oh, no. Oh. You got to wait. Wait your I turn, V. I don't want to wait. Oh, you know what? I see now what I got to do. I don't want to wait. I want to go fast. <gasps> Waiting's for wussies. Yep. Gotcha. There's 18. Only one more to go. I don't need that check. Technically point. two, but, uh... I just don't make this so fast. Oh! Not so fast! Okay, we're good. Now, now, and now I'm already on the way to get the... To get the second shiny trinket, which should just be down, down here. Oh. 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 Too fast. You gotta pace yourself. But if I can get this right, then oh, I'll be Oh, Viridian, if only you forgot to clean the butter off your shoes. Oh, I already did it. Oh, cool. I, Didn't you miss I, I, one? It, it, nope. Uh, well, basically, uh, the, the 20th one will be at the final, like, right as we're beating the oh, game. Oh, no. I can just... Actually, you know what? I, the, you know what? I was mistaken. <laughs> I thought the one that you skipped... The, the one that you skipped was actually just another checkpoint. Nope, you're fine. Pay attention to the background at that point. Yeah, no, I actually just now noticed that myself. Uh, oh. It will lead the way. Also, if I am ever reacting like... If I'm ever reacting like... A, oh, it's because I've been, like... So I did a whole practice run of this game before, and I actually, that was one of the ones I spent a little bit longer than I cared to admit trying to get, but I mean, here I am, actually playing this as though I am actually have some sort of experience, even though I am in no way, shape, or form having a uh, deathless run on my hands here. It's called, it's called Murphy took took a vacation and decided not to come and visit. Thank goodness. It, it's called Murphy wanted to visit, but he accidentally <laughs> forgot his house keys and he's just furiously pounding at the door. <laughs> <laughs> I know you're in there, Lucky. Can't run you forever. will have a flawed run. Oh, jeez. Yep. 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 And we did it. We done it, and uh, hey, the oh, red guy. Why? Oh, Vermilion, I didn't, I didn't want to save you. I, at the very beginning, I said I didn't want to save you. Am I ever glad to see you? I thought I was the only one to escape the ship. We can only hope. Vermilion, I knew you'd be okay. Do you have a personal vendetta against so, this guy? So, uh, what's the situation? Well, it's this. I see. Well, we'd better get back then. Oh, fine. There's a teleporter in the next room. Okay, give me one quick second. And we'll take care of that. But before I do that, let me send this little message off. Alright. Uh... Any day now, Goldilocks. I'm thinking about it. <laughs> and for the record, I have no locks. I'm bald. But don't you tell anybody about it. <laughs> I'll know. <laughs> Just get closer. closer. <laughs> you, hear, you, you hear me? <laughs> you're dead. You're dead meat if you if you make, post that tweet. And if Anywho. you do tell, and if you do tell, let's just say they're gonna have another reason to call you a red man. Oh no. <laughs> or a dead man. <laughs> Anywho, thank you for hearing me on that. So, yeah, we saved him. So, what was the problem again? There was no problem. The problem is that we now can finally get home, but here's the issue. Welcome Oh, that, that was, that was the... Oh, oh, welcome back! Uh, where's Captain Viridian? Wait. Oh. No. <laughs> They're all sad because Hello? I got stuck again. But Dang it, Vermilion was just bad luck. With that said, it's time to finally get to the final levels of the game. This is going to be a culmination of everything I've... Of everything I've learned to get to this point. And only now can we hopefully escape this wretched dimension. Wait a minute. This All wretched right. <laughs> dimension to uh, to escape back to our, with our fellow comrades. And, uh, oh, I guess it's it's worth noting that uh, another thing that they don't talk about is that uh, uh, part of the reason why we're even we're out in space in the first place was because... Ow. Was, be was because, I guess, th whatever species these things are, they're trying to find a renewable source of energy for their planet. Ah, so? Oh wow, this is jamming. 
Uh, again, like the sound. Like, again, I I'm very much looking forward to this drum beat. I just, again, I really much look forward to whatever this composer works on next because I it, it, it's th their music between this between dicey dungeons. Like it's just such a lot of fun. Okay, make sure I get the water. Yeah. Okay, let's go. Oh jeez. This, this one always throws me for a loop because it always feels like I'm like it always feels like I'm like desynced in the worst way possible. Okay. Oh my gosh, I thought, how do I keep feeling like I'm going backwards? Okay. <laughs> One step forward, two steps back. Oh! No! Dang it. Okay. That's I don't remember the rest of the lyrics. It's okay. Oh, gee, how do I do that? How do I manage to keep doing that to myself consistently? <laughs> this is a screen I remember having. This is a screen I do remember not liking too much. I don't remember liking this one much either. Okay, while I throw myself at this brick wall a few more times, uh, hi. You know what? Mm -hmm. Actually, idea. There we go. Ha ha! Nice! I, I just did that at the start. <laughs> anyway. Let's you make it harder for knife. myself. Ah! Why not? Yeah. I was gonna say, uh, hi. Yes? That. I was gonna say. <laughs> Are you looking forward to any other big games coming out this week? Let me see. Uh, coming this out this year, I should say. Probably this year would be a better, a better way to act. Yeah, no. The, the, this week, the only other game that's coming out this week of any notoriety is something that hype hates with a flaming screw passion. Okay, screw well, hardware. more s less hate and more so indifference. Like, if there is any hate, it's mostly just for the sake of seeing what kind of reactions I get out of people. Yeah, that's fair. Matt seems to think it's genuine hate, though, and he refuses to let go of it, but, you know, that's another discussion. I mean, to be fair, once you make that one goofy-looking picture of Bayonetta literally just... You know that whole infamous po that whole infamous thing Ooh. of, like, when a girl twists her body in such a way you can see both the bust and the boot and the butt at the same time? We never understand ah, yes, how they do it. A staple of bad comic book art. But, yeah, um, but, yeah, aside exactly. from that... Exactly! But aside from that, um... Yeah, as far as, like, games coming out this year, the only one that I can really think of that I have any interest in is Frontiers, because I don't know what other games are going to be coming out this year. Dead offhand, I'm not... I, I know there's, like, some smaller stuff that'll be probably be coming out before the year's over, but otherwise it's just Frontiers, Bayo, Bayo 3, and I can say that with full confidence now, given the current situation. Yep, um, let but me we know but, um, have to worry about... It. I mean, it, I mean, it sounds like it wasn't even going to be that big of a, like... It wasn't going to be that big of a, like, turnaround. It was going to be essentially a cameo, I guess, because they're playing with multiple dimensions or something this time around. I believe so. So I guess she would have been OG, uh... So she would have been OG Bayonetta or something like that. Was that really all it was? I thought she was actually going to be put, brought, brought back to play the actual character, like you play as. Oh, the story I, I is the, weird. Uh, <laughs> I... I know. Honestly, it doesn't matter at this point. Like, the long and the short of it is the... She kind of, she kind of, you know, biffed up, and now she's definitely, tur she's thrown the whole argument that Dio, like, Dio should be prop better, uh, properly paid for more. I know. You know, it's back a couple, back, back a couple steps. Yeah. Well, hold, I know. It's like it's why I'm hoping that eventually they can like, eventually they can hopefully reverse this around so we can have that discussion without any of these things like muddying up the issue. Hmm. Also, anyway, why are we why are we standing here? Oh, because I was wanting to talk to you. Because unfortunately, because we, fortunately for us, we finally found the source of all this like dimensional interference that was messing up our teleporters. Oh, well, let's see. Stability generator. Current oh. generation maximum stability. This was was causing interference. So it's simple. I just gotta unplug it. Warning: Disabling the dimensional stability generator may lead to instability. Are you sure you want to do this? Yes. Yes. Turn it off! Seriously, the whole dimension could collapse. Just think about this for a minute. Are you really sure you want to do this? Yes! Dimensional yes. stabilizer offline. Warning. Well done. Warning. Well done, idiot. Uh-oh. Time to go! Run! Well, <laughs> Everything's get... collapsing and falling apart. Party well, get... time! Well, if we get seizures, it's this guy's fault. It's not- I mean, at the very least, this is not as fast as the elephant, so I think we should be fine. Damn you for a million! Anyway, but, like, going back to your question, like, as far as, like, games that are... Technically, they're already out, but they do still count as this year releases. Hang on, a quick second. I... Alright, oh, what happened? You keep talking, keep talking. Okay, anyway, um, but as far as, like, games that have released this year, um, 
I know sooner or later I do want to pick up the uh, Phantom Reverie collection to, to, so I can play both Klonoa 1 and 2. I definitely would still recommend them. Like, I will still say that Klonoa 1's half of the collection is a little rough here and there, especially if you're playing the game on Switch, but otherwise, it's I'd say it's still a very solid collection. That's fair. Um, but yeah, let me see. Aside from that... I know we talked about doing something with the Kalabunga collection, but I know that's still in the up-in-the-air territory of what we may or may not do for the channel. Right. Because, I mean, not for nothing. Like, I, I think I've already brought it before. That whole plan hinged on if Logan was going to get the collection or not on Steam or whatever, but he said he had other plans, so we'll probably have to settle with either part, like, I don't know, Yuzu or whatever, or if the push comes to shove, we could just... You know, play the games individually that were that you know are worth playing on that collection. Yeah. Um. Let me see. I know one game that did catch my interest. I'm not playing it myself. I'm mostly watching Logan play it on our off time. But I have been enjoying Potionomics so far. I mean, yeah, no, it looks fun. Mm -hmm. Very cute. Has a lot of really cute characters. I'm the back. writing's pretty good. Hello. Back and back. Let's do this. Let's finish this up. He, even in this, ah! even in the instability of a dimension, he never forgets to leave. Make sure to keep check of the oven. I, I, I will be, I will be damned if those stuffed peppers come out undercooked after all I've been through. Where are they stuffed? Wow. And I mean, like the usual, like you know, like this kind of like uh, beef meat with rice and some cheese on top. Mm -hmm. I swear, I know what I'm doing with this game. Oh my god! Come on. <laughs> oh, okay, I almost had it. Don't make a fool out of me, game know where you live game I could hit the lead on you at any moment <laughs> okay, I, I could literally right cheat the system like I did potionomics no one has to know about that <laughs> Wait, isn't this the second time you mentioned it on the channel I didn't the first time I brought no, it up it's, on the channel every other time is mostly between, just on you know behind the covers right just just, and just under, behind the and, yeah and under them too I, I hate anyway so yes that is um Okay, that's the thing is, I was pl I was playing Potionomics not to, like, have a whole economic simulator. I was playing it for the cute animations and the dating sim possibilities of it. Because those it characters are, are fun characters. They're fun, they're adorable, and I don't care what any of you heathens say, Mint is the best girl. You haven't even met all the girls yet. Well, I've met most of them. There's the... Yeah, okay, that's fair. You know, after we're done with Sparks of Hope, we should probably get back to that. Oh, I, I'm going to. That, that's my goal. Well, I mean, I I'm, I'm, I'm not going to rush him. Him. Like, I'm not going to rush him. I know he's really getting into Sparks of Hope, and I'm glad you are. Because, like, it's, I mean, it's so... And then, don't forget... Oh, I almost had it. That was it. Oh. I, I, that was it. Okay. So, okay, now I know what I do. Wait for it to bounce this way. Up, down. Oh. Oh, man. You, were, you, almost, you had it. You almost had it. Yes. Okay. Now. Hmm. But yeah, I see what I have to do. I basically have to delay myself a little bit, so... But yeah, anyway, uh, Mint is best girl, and even though I don't swing that way, Mutt Tuck is amazing. <laughs> Mutt Tuck is just an anomaly in, in so many ways. He's a Goron that went to art school, and that's what makes him amazing. Yeah, I mean, that's a, that's pretty much the most simplest way you can put it. Deathless Run If, if, if Darunia was an artist. Yeah. Exactly. Oh Look my gosh. Okay. Maybe you should. Just, how many like, more of these? Oh how many more of these rooms are there anyway? I want to say there's like three or so left, but then there is gonna be one last little auto scroller. You know, just the, there we go. There. Oh, get us out of here. Sorry, I, I, it's the final level. I'm allowed to be bad. That, that's that's a horrible <laughs> excuse. <laughs> Anywho, Woo. three's company, fours a uh, crowd, five. Come on, not, oh, come I on, like not gonna, What? I like Smith. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, <Hype. laughs> Hi. Hi. How did I even survive that? X Mint. Listen, she is a dork and she is precious. Do you not? Do you blame me for liking her? Nah, no. Well, she, she's for a those, character. probably probably would be best in post editing to make sure you post pictures of these characters so we know they know what we're talking about. Because I don't I don't even know how many of our fan, the people that watch our channel actually heard of let alone played Potionomics. oh my gosh like potionomics was like that was like the one of the biggest games on tumblr when i went back when i was like Ooh. looking into like the indie dev scene on there because like the, I, I genuinely am curious what those animators have worked on besides that game because they're very smooth and expressive mm -hmm. the only it's like i think one of the only things holding that game back for me 
is similar with Pumpkin Jack. I just, I wish that there was, I, I wish acting. that there, yeah, I wish it was like full voice acting, which, That'd oh be gosh, nice. That's... Um, I will say one thing that I think would also help with the game, um, this isn't going to be like a major spoiler, because I, I was reading this from an account that already yeah. beat the game, they didn't uh -oh. spoil it. They, they think it'd be nice if the game had an endless mode. An endless mode? Oh, I see. Just, yeah, to you know, see how, just to see how long you can survive and just keep making potions and selling them. Just, just yeah, because like, like, the, the whole thing is not like... Yeah, because the whole thing is like, once you beat the tournament, that's basically the end of the game. Mm. And, and I get fair. that. They don't get to... I mean, uh, that uh, that to me... Uh, not obviously as if like I know anything. That definitely sounds like something that they could easily put into like a post-release, like, you know, free DLC or something. A free update. Yeah. But, uh... Okay. One, but yeah, two, voice acting would be nice. Three, if they hold auditions, four. I'll try my best to go out for Muck Tuck. <laughs> Whoa! But, yeah, no, because that's the thing is... that I remember now what I was thinking of was, uh... Um... Another game that I'm excited to... Here it is, the final challenge. This is it. it all the comes final down. showdown! But, uh... I remember now what I was, um... What I was trying to, uh... Oh, jeez. How the hell do I do this bit again? Now I remember. One, two... Oh my head! Ah. Um, is uh, you remember um, freaking uh, Jenny Leclue Detective? -oo? Yeah, I know that. You and mean like the one, that's our... getting a, the, the one that's getting a sequel. Yeah, no. A, I'm excited for the sequel because of the freaking cliffhanger that that game ends us on, which I would not be against. Dang it! Oh boy. Which I would not be against showing that game off to some capacity, especially since it recently got not recently, but a couple years after its launch and after I finished my whole playthrough. So you know, I gotta do that. Uh, <laughs> but they put a whole update together, which basically gave the game full voice acting for everything, but when before it didn't have it. Oh boy. The last straw. I mean, that is oh boy! Oh, nice! They give they give the last shiny trinket as a freebie. Yep. And with that, twenty out of twenty. That's we did it. it! Honestly, that for a last roll, that one didn't seem too me, bad. Me, 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 me. We're in space. Game is won. Yay! Where are we going? I have no idea. Been a little bit over an hour, uh, with about an hour length of time and a lot of flips and way too many deaths. Oh my gosh, the fact that that one room that we were just at was ice. The fact that I got more deaths there than on the freaking, uh, you know, the long tower hardest trinket in the game. Jeez. Man. Life certainly has a way with flipping with you. Well, as Captain Viridian continues to soar endlessly, they pull a Star oh Trek boy. move on him. Oh, uh, yeah, and yeah. Managed to, and managed to teleport him from movement in outer space. Look at that's Any good. Moment now. Any moment now. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Captain! <laughs> Captain! You're alright. And you'll be okay. We were very con worried when you didn't come back! When you turned off the source of it. Oh, I think that was you hyped, yeah. But yeah, honestly, yeah, I think at this point it's fine. We were able to find we the. We were able system. to find the. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no, no, the pressure was that. And teleport you back on board. That was lucky. And contrived. Thanks, guys. Started to stabilize just like our own. And these things work for a little longer, but eventually it will collapse comple completely. That, that was basically the oh. game. This is basically the game giving you your post comic like, hey, go out there and explore and find some way to stabilize everything, which, spoilers, is the trinkets. Ooh. As soon as we well, got them all. Home. So, as soon as we get this, what now, Captain? Let's find a way to save this dimension. And a way to save our home dimension. Again, it's the trinkets, but uh, first now we gotta wait for the game to get through its old plot. So before we look at all the post comp stuff, uh, yep, that was the letter V six times. It's a very, I would still say a very short indie game, but I mean, I still find it, I still, I still very much find it fun between Terry Kavanaugh, Magnus Paulson, all of them, they did incredible fun stuff. Rooms yeah, named by. So. It's just the publisher. I don't care for the publisher. Yeah, the, the publisher can go uh, suck a quack, like I said. A quack and lemon. I just think that I just think it's funny that there's a credit for like, oh, I named all the rooms. I mean, th th that probably took some time. There's a good amount of rooms. Yeah. I'll have him Scott Baron have the games. Yeah. Some I mean, those are the kinds of things you don't take lightly. You gotta be mindful of it. Lord knows that's like the biggest thing that I struggle with with our videos is I, I've never I never know what to call them. Hmm. Contributors. 
Anywho, uh, what did you think of the game hype having just, you know, seen it all flash before your eyes? What a flash indeed. But yeah, jokes aside, <laughs> it, it looks really nice. Um, you know, it definitely has like that nice, tight, indie... No, oh, what I'm just saying. Nice, tight, indie charm that I like seeing. And it definitely looks like it's fun to just blast through, assuming you're lucky enough to blast through it as fast as you did. I mean, again, this is just because I've played the game a lot of times. I could absolutely see someone getting a little bit lost. I I think the last time I played this game live was a live stream I did for a, like, it was like one of those collab streams where everybody, you know, it's like a marathon stream where people, where, where people hop in, like, in, in different legs. And I remember that How was actually... How long is this going to take? It's taking uh, it its time. It's know? trying to load it all MS-DOS style. Huh, you know, um, this is definitely different from how it's like in late, in uh, future releases. So, uh, thanks a lot, Nicholas. Wait, what's on the wait? What's on the wait? What's in the uh, updated releases? Updated releases. It's all like a. It's like a full two D drawing that loads almost instantaneously. I mean, oh. it's good artwork. I'll give them that. But it's also like this definitely feels like it fits more the bill of the what the uh, game's trying to present itself as. Oh yeah, it's a whole MS DOS thing. Yeah. That's yeah. Fair. Look at them all. Kind of look like creepy Teletubbies to me, but that's it. They do look like some sort of children, like if preschool uh, mascots. Oh, okay. So, so I'll actually hit continue, because we're not quite done yet. Because now that I've collected all 20 of them, talk to Victoria. Oh, you found all of them. Really? Great. I'll run some tests to see if I can work out what they're for. Oh, oh. That, that didn't sound good. Uh-oh. I did it. Run for run! the hills! <laughs> run for the hills! Not, not again! again! Wait, it stopped. <laughs> huh? Oh. Hey. Oh. What the? Oh. All the shiny things became this a weird... Was... What, what happened? We were just playing with them, tossing them about like frisbees, and they suddenly exploded. Well, look what they made. Is that a teleporter? I don't think so, but I've never seen a teleporter like that before. We should investigate. Oh, what do you think, Captain? Should we find out where it leads? Let's go! Woohoo! We're stuck. Oh. <laughs> Trapped. Uh, oh dear. How should we get out of this? I know. Combine! Combine? What? <clears throat> what? Oh boy. Oh. Oh, oh, yeah, you didn't know they could do that? <laughs> the game no. Us. All you know, we could just warp back to the ship. Oh, what's this? <clears throat> Another laboratory. So, with that said, welcome everybody to the bonus thing you get for finding every shiny thing in the game, the secret lab. Secret. Uh, it's separate from the rest of the game. You can access it from the main menu. And basically, this is where you can find all sorts of little uh, MacGuffins. Like, for instance, here's where you can find all of your achievements the game mm -hmm. uh, oh. and however long they last for this is where you would get this is where your big grand statue would be if you complete the entire game without ever dying once go on with that <laughs> yeah props to you on that if you can manage to pull that off uh over here i know you can talk to more of these people um and then the other big the other fun thing that they have in this mode is the super gravitron oh lord try to go as far as long as you can and it's hard. So Just, hard that we're not gonna bother. I mean, I could try a little bit, but um, I mean, otherwise, yeah, you got, you kind of got the gist now. This, this is V V V V V, and it, it, again, I, I really do enjoy how much they manage to get out of the simple, out, out of the simple gimmick of you know, you don't jump, you flip gravity. Uh, I am never gonna do. I don't think I'm ever gonna do super hexagon for the channel, but I have heard that the music in that game is also very fun. Same composer, in any, in, 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 any, in any case. Oh. All right, one more college trot. One more <laughs> college trot. One more time. Okay, there we go. I'm not too good at this. But I'm still having fun. And there we go. I'm getting done. Awesome. What, do you what do you think the world record for this thing even is? I don't want to know. Me? Set up for entertainment purposes only. Anyone found using the Super Gravitron for educational purposes may be asked to stand in the naughty corner. <laughs> no. Not again. I was that. I gotta go in the naughty corner. 
Aw, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it even makes it sad because you're in the naughty corner. You've been very naughty. <laughs> so, yeah, that's all. Thank you guys so much for watching. Just this quick little, you know, easy breezy, you know, c commentary morning. <laughs> and with that all said, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we will see you all next time well out of the naughty corner and into whatever else we have in mind, whether it be super casual or something a little more involved. Yep. Stay tuned, everybody. Bye-bye. <laughs> see you later, guys. Bye. <laughs>